Hello, everyone. The natural need of human being is a sense of belonging, a desire to create and to be a part of a group. In the pursuit of this need, we often forget who we are. We are assigning ourselves to people free rank rejection. Before you tell me that this problem concerns only a small group of people, and certainly not you, ask yourself one question. Have you ever done something that was not in line with your principles? Something you didn't want to do, but you did, just to impress someone or because everyone did it? Probably all of us know this awful feeling while when writing the test, we look at our friend's answer and we see that he has completely different hours, uh, answers than we have. So we decide to change them. Of course, after the test, we find out that we have correct one and we change them to wrong. The same thing as on a test often happens in real life, but it works a bit differently. Often, due to invisible pressure generated by the society, we change our decisions even if they seem correct. If you want to tell me that pressure doesn't affect you, you are wrong. Each of us is scumbled by the society to some smaller or greater extent. But it's not a problem. The problem is how we deal with this thing. We live in the media world, when one people teach other how to live. So, we are listening to people who actually don't know nothing, because it's true. Until we listen, everyone around us, we won't discover what we really care about. We will chase something that never exists and will probably won't exist. Often, we are afraid to express our views, talk about our favorite singers or what books we read. And that's all just because we are afraid of other people's reaction. People are changing us. Often, we are not ourselves. We are not acting naturally. And that's why we have a lot of problems. We, fa we are creating our fake identity. We can create it for so long that we forget who we really are. This putting mask under another mask is really pr problematic because people and the environment are changing. So we change our way of being all the time. We adjust ourselves to new people. And we don't, that's the reason why we don't come across the people we like and with whom we will be really good, but across the people for whom we need to change. We often blame our friends for that we can't be who we really want to be. That's not true. Your life depends only on you. Nobody can force you to do something unless you don't want to do it. And I have the perfect example of this. Once, I really want to be this girl who is really popular and recognized on a school corridor. So I start to speak with people whom I never can really be friends with. Our lifestyle, way of being, even our hobbies were different. Right now, I'm asking myself a question. Why I even tried? I spent so many time. I waste so many energy. And I'm standing right here with nothing. Seriously. For a long time, I didn't speak with to people I liked, but to people I need to change myself for. Right now, the people whom I avoided for a long time because the group I belonged to didn't like them are my best friends, and I can't imagine life without them. They are amazing. And that's why I have really good advice for you. Don't try to change people. Why? Because we won't be able to change them. They won't change for a long time. We can't just uh, make our friends fit to us. We need to find people who, with whom we are good. Friends are not the people who try to change you. 
Friends are the people who accept every single part of you. It's really important to know this. The second thing I want to tell you about is that don't try to live life of others. Don't try to impress someone. You know why? I'm standing in front of you and I see a lot of amazing people. You are all amazing and the best the way you are. You don't need to change yourself. Every single person sitting in the audience is amazing. And if you try to change yourself, you are taking of you the thing that is the best thing in your life, your uniqueness, your difference. This is the best thing in human nature, that we are different. Imagine we are sitting in a place when everyone is the same. Will it be fun if everyone can dance, sing, swim? Of course not. And the only thing I want to add at the end, it's worth to go by your own paths, following your own rules, because it's the only way to achieve something. Can you imagine life scientists who listen to everyone around them? For example, Nicolas Copernicus talking about his discoveries. Did he listen to all the people who rejected them? No, of course not. And please believe me, it was more than just being able to smoke with people considered as cool. People and the environment will change, but it doesn't mean that you need to change. Be yourself, live your own life. That's the only way to create the future. Remember, we are the future.